Hey everyone, it's Pixelate here and welcome back to the channel. So we have a huge update today on the future of The Sims. We have an article here, it's titled, The Future is Plum Bob Green. We're building what's next for The Sims and we want you to join us. So apparently there's a lot announced in this article. I have not read it yet. I did scroll through really fast. There's Sims Lab stuff, a new creator program, I guess, some screenshots. It's looking like Project Renee maybe because it looks kind of like The Sims 4, but it also looks a little bit different and also I don't know just the way the birds are looking we don't have birds that do this in the sims 4 so this is definitely like a future sims title we're gonna be learning more about my sims they talk about project renee here i'm seeing sims free play so we kind of have a sims themed roadmap not just for the sims 4 but for the entire franchise also i don't know if we have a new patch update coming today i mean it is tuesday and we are supposed to get one this week honestly i'm kind of hoping the patch comes tomorrow because I got to do this now. So it's going to be a minute until I get to the patch. All right, so let's get going here and see what this is all about. We've been in the lab expanding The Sims into an entertainment platform driven by you, our community. That includes exploring experiential ways to play The Sims and new ways we're supporting creators. Our passion for creating products full of fun, creativity, and discovery has led us to new experiences, all moving at the speed of pop culture. Keep reading to learn what we've been cooking. Get ready to party like it's the year 2000. Before we jump in WoW, it's been nearly 25 years since the world was first introduced to The Sims. Since then, more than 500 million of you have become Simmers, embracing the delightful chaos that comes with playing fate, guiding your beloved Sims through life's ups and downs and endless possibilities. So many deleted pool ladders, grinning squinting face. You've shown that no one does life like The Sims, unleashing your imagination to craft one-of-a-kind stories stories, worlds, and adventures that seamlessly blend the real world with The Sims world. Okay, so they acknowledge The Sims' anniversary, but not The Sims 4's anniversary. I'm really starting to question now, do they like The Sims 4? Do they hate The Sims 4? Because how do you not acknowledge The Sims 4's anniversary, but you acknowledge The Sims as a whole? And also, we didn't get any update, like an anniversary update, you know? I was kind of surprised on that. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm mad or upset or anything. I honestly truly don't care. I just find it funny. You know, because I really did expect that they would acknowledge it because they've acknowledged some very weird anniversaries, you know, like an odd number amount of years, but 10 whole years like that is the mark like that is a decade that is a staple in time. I just find it so funny. All right, let's keep going. What else are they going to talk about here? We remain committed as ever to reimagining the way people play with life and giving millions the chance to connect over their shared love of the Sims as we push the boundaries of reality. So far in 2024, Simmers have spent more than 1.2 billion hours playing The Sims 4 and experimenting with life scenarios and choices without real-world consequences. 759 plus million hours spent in live mode. Whether it's designing your dream home, 303 plus million hours in build mode, customizing your Sims, 640 plus million Sims, and worlds, reimagining the latest reality TV drama, or even taking on the 100 baby challenge, 65 plus million babies made. Your creativity continues to amaze us. You've shown that if you can dream it, you can sim it. These numbers are insane. Oh my gosh, 1.2 billion hours played in The Sims 4? That's crazy. Oh my gosh. 700 plus million hours in live mode, 300 million hours in build mode. That really shows you the players prefer live mode and gameplay over the other things. So why are they prioritizing the gameplay? <laughs> all right, enough with the jokey jokes. In all seriousness though, that's crazy. That's a lot of time. And also just like 25 years of The Sims as a whole is insane. All right, where's the reveal? They wouldn't say all this if there wasn't some big reveal coming next. Watching Simmers unite over their self-expression and curiosity expressed within The Sims has been our greatest joy. We love that you share our mischievous humor and find laughter every step of the way as you bring your vision to life, whether you're successful or not. We can't wait to celebrate 25 years of The Sims with you and plan to kick things off with an episode of Behind The Sims in January 2025. There's so much to look forward to in the coming months, and we just can't help but share some with you now. 
Okay, so we have new Behind the Sims coming. That is our first big announcement. So I'm assuming that on this Behind the Sims, we're probably going to hear more about the next expansion pack, which will be after, you know, the one that's coming out on Halloween, obviously. So more news in January, of course, which is exciting. And I hope, praying to God, that we have the return of game packs. I miss game packs so very dearly. I really hope they bring those back. Obviously, we're probably going to learn more about kits. There'll probably be another stuff pack because on the last behind the sims they announced what was it shuffle bustle hustle bust the hustle wait i need a second to think about this home chef hustle okay i'm getting that mixed up with bust the dust so we're probably getting some new content announced there and honestly i feel like this is a better like celebration than just a decade of the sims 4 you know celebrating 25 years of the sims as a whole i think i would rather them you know do a much bigger celebration for the bigger picture and announce a lot of stuff along with it. I feel like that was a better move for them. And that's probably why they ended up ignoring the 10 years for The Sims 4, honestly, because they probably had this planned, which in my opinion is bigger. All right. Oh God, the Hollywood rumors are true. The Sims movie? The Hollywood rumors are true. The Sims is headed to the big screen. We're very excited to share that in partnership with Amazon MGM Studios, our team is working on a film based on The Sims. Kate Heron will direct, as well as co-write with Bryony Redman. Lucky Chop and Vertigo Entertainment will produce alongside The Sims team, with Heron and Redman executive producing. It's still too early to share more about the movie, but stay tuned for updates as we mark our 25th birthday next year. Okay, this announcement kind of aligns with the anniversary. I did expect something big like that, but I will say Margot Robbie, you know, there were talks that Margot Robbie was going to be a part of it, not necessarily just acting in it, but being a part of it, you know, or directing it. But seeing here, Kate Heron is going to direct and co-written with Bryony Redman, Lucky Chap, Vertigo Entertainment. I'm not seeing Margot Robbie here. So is Margot Robbie no longer working on it or is Margot Robbie going to be working on it? I'm so interested to see what they do with this and also like where the plot and the storyline goes to like i hope it's really just all about the sims lore and the iconic townies of the sims i really hope that's what they do with it it can go any direction it could end up being a really good film or honestly in my opinion i feel like it could end up being dog shit we don't know but i just hope they make the right move with it but it's really good promotion and publicity for the game itself and if the movie is a box office success i can see it driving a lot of new players to the game and I'm sure that's what their marketing team has in mind for it. Who knows? Maybe this will come out in conjunction with Project Brene and then when the movie comes out they could always market it like hey if you pick up a physical copy or if you purchase a digital version of the movie you're gonna get a game code for Project Brene. Like they could always do something like that I guess like bundle it in. It's probably gonna be years until we see this but knowing that it's greenlit, it's happening, it's in the works is interesting but also exciting. I can't wait to see where they go with that and i'm curious to know what you guys think about a whole sims movie you make the sims our incredible community is the only reason we'll celebrate 25 years of the sims everything we do is for you because you are what makes the sims as we build towards the future we're exploring more ways to involve engage and reward our community it's with great pride and enthusiasm that we'll continue expanding the ways we spotlight your incredible stories creations and ideas since its launch more than 1 billion Sims 4 creations have been downloaded from the gallery and more than 116 million pieces of content uploaded, with millions more assets uploaded and downloaded across the broader Sims community. In addition, we've been collaborating with all types of Simmers on multiple projects, ranging from in-game creation through lot building and worlds to collaborations on kits, base game updates, packs, and beyond. These collaborations have meant a lot to us, but more importantly to our community, and we aren't done yet. Good. I've been saying this for a while. You know, they need to make collaborating with the community, collaborating with simmers, custom content creators, mod creators. They need to make that a normal standard thing going forward. And it really seems like they have been. I feel like we get collaborative packs or collaborative kits at least all the time now. And I hope that doesn't stop anytime soon. It's really good to showcase some of the talent in the community, you know, and bring that to the forefront and also promote these creators so more people know who they 
VR and check them out. Allow us to proudly introduce the Sims 4 Creator Kits, designed and produced entirely by creators in collaboration with The Sims. Discover global creators whose content is a must-see, no matter where you play. Creativity has long been a core value for The Sims franchise, and we obsess over seeing and showcasing the incredible talent and artistry that lives within our tight-knit community. This push to expand the ways we support creators has led us to The Sims 4 Creator Kits. These kits are designed and built by community creators to create new collections featuring unique styles and fresh storytelling potential. These creator kits will mark the first time that a full collection of in-game assets have been crafted by a creator and officially published by The Sims development team, making them available for all players. For The Sims 4 players who crave more variety in customization and design, look for The Sims 4 Creator Kits to start rolling out in November 2024 across our Sims channels and availables alongside our current collections of kits. This is a big step forward in delivering creator-made content that's console-friendly and curated with safeguards that will expand your game with more on-trend aesthetics and styles. We've been working with some familiar faces for a while now to elevate their work and allow their creations to reach even more of you to enjoy. Stand by for more updates. Wow. Okay. So, you know, along with kits and I guess the collaborations that they already have with just their regular kits, I guess they're introducing a new kit type, which is creator kits. Are we still going to receive the same amount of kits that we always have? Is this going to kind of replace some of those? But it seems like it is its own entity, like its own category of kits. And it's sounding like they are created entirely entirely by, you know, creators a part of the community, which I know that the collaborations, it's not entirely them. Sometimes it's just their ideas, but this is sounding like they're going to do almost all the work. That's crazy. I love that. No, I really do love that for them. And whoever gets showcased on that, like, congrats. Like, that is huge to be able to say that you made an entire pack for The Sims 4 yourself and it's released everywhere, even on consoles to download. This is amazing. They need to do the same thing with mods, you know, not just with assets, you know, for Create a Sim or for Build Buy, but for those of you out there that are making gameplay mods with actual full functioning gameplay, they need to put that into packs too and let us download that. I guess the only downside of it is, of course, these are going to be up for a price, you know, like CC and mods. They're usually free if you wait more than the two weeks. If they have it on Patreon, you get to download that for free. But with this, of course, they're officially released, so it wouldn't be free content. But still, you know, the idea of creator kits and showcasing the community, I do have to say, in my opinion, I really like that. The Sims Creator Program, how we're collaborating with global creators. Join us to get inspired and create like never before. The Sims Creator Program is the next evolution of how we work with both established and up-and-coming creators around the world. With this official program, creators will gain access to a range of exclusive perks, including early access to upcoming packs, direct communication with fellow creators and The Sims team, free swag, opportunities to collaborate, and more. Okay, so this is kind of confusing. Is this going to be a part of the EA Creator Network? Is this going to be something different? Are both going to coexist together? Because there's just been a lot of switching and rebranding lately over the past couple of years with that. Like we had the EA Game Changer program. Then they switched and rebranded to the EA Creator Network. And now we have The Sims Creator Program. So we have all these different programs. So is it still the EA Creator Program and this is just like a sub beneath it? Is that how that's working? I do like it though. It sounds pretty cool. We're looking for creators who regularly create original The Sims content across social platforms and various types of creators who might be new to The Sims, including those who are crafting mods or custom content or nurturing communities across various platforms. Whether you're a more established voice or an emerging creator, we welcome you to apply to join us. Okay, so they're going to be looking into partnering with smaller channels and smaller creators too, which I really do like. They mention here those that are crafting mods or custom content. So I guess this is a good way if you want to make your own 
own kit, you know, to get in with them here with this program, but also mods. So does that mean maybe gameplay mods could be made into packs? I don't know. This is also interesting. I honestly was not expecting them to announce all this today. The Sims Labs, innovating, improving, and evolving across our live and future products. Let's build the future of The Sims together. Our Sims franchise of games today and into the future will deliver on many gameplay and storytelling styles for the growing number of you around the world and we're excited for you to see what we've been working on. Creating this vision involves innovating across multiple products to deliver new experiences, and through The Sims Labs, we'll explore new experimental ways to play The Sims. Over the next few months, you might start to see The Sims Labs show up when we're trying out different things for Sims products, systems, and features. This is your friendly reminder to sign up for a chance to play test in The Sims Labs here, and if you fit the requirements we're looking for, you will receive an email with further instructions. In the meantime, here Here's a sneak peek at some of what we'll be testing coming up soon. All footage is pre-alpha and will differ from final release. Oh my gosh, so I'm assuming this is Project Renee. It's also kind of looking like the demo version. Also looking in the background here behind this set, it kind of is giving the two-dimensional cardboard cutout backdrop. So honestly, I don't feel like Project Renee is going to look much different from The Sims 4. If anything, I really am starting to think that this is just a spinoff, you know, like an online spinoff like the sims online reboot i'm really starting to think that is what project renee is going to be like even down to the art style the way the buildings look the way the trees look the lampposts everything kind of just fits the sims 4 so i feel like it's going to be in the vein of the sims 4 but just be a spinoff i don't know maybe i'm wrong though this definitely isn't the sims 4 though this is a different game like look at their little like reactions and moods above the sims's heads like this one is mad and this one's feeling happy but they're both watching the birds as they eat. Maybe they're even feeding them. This is definitely something different from The Sims 4, though. The Sims franchise, live and future product updates. When we talk about The Sims as an entertainment platform driven by our community, it's because we see the future of The Sims as more than any one title. We're expanding the franchise to better serve the diverse needs of the growing number of Simmers around the world. The Sims will move beyond linear, sequential Sims releases and offer more options for players than ever before. We're focused on creating a variety of games and experiences that will touch different categories across the simulated life genre including cozy games, social and collaborative based gameplay, mobile narrative games, and continued depth, improvements, and modernization of The Sims 4, which will continue to be a foundational Sims experience. Okay, so they're continuing to build on The Sims 4, we knew that that's nothing new, but improvements and continued depth for The Sims 4? Uh, I can go ahead and say nice try. I really don't feel like they're really making it too much deeper. There is only a certain depth that they can get to at this game, in my honest opinion. But seeing here that they're creating cozy games, social and collaborative based gameplay. Yeah, The Sims Online reboot is definitely coming. Honestly, I really do feel like Project Renee is going to be The Sims Online reboot. I really don't think it's The Sims 5 at this point. I really highly doubt it. Mobile narrative games, probably also Project Renee because we knew from some of the demos and information that they shared with us before that that is going to have mobile capability so you're going to be able to play it on your phone as well we're creating new and innovative experiences that connect with players on their terms wherever they are and however they choose to play these explorations are being tested by the sims labs including individual features from project renee a story-driven mobile test, enhancements to The Sims 4 with discovery and search tools, creator tools, and more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Discovery and search tools, creator tools, create a world? Are you guys giving us create a world? Hold on. I don't want to jump the gun on that, but create a world? Probably not create a world. Probably other creator tools, honestly. That would be too good to be true. Also, I just don't feel like the engine for The Sims 4 can support create a world anyway. I just don't think it's going to happen. For now, keep reading for the latest news about our live and future products. My Sims, Cozy Bundle, two lovable games return with adorable adventures and fun for everyone. Coming soon to Nintendo Switch, retro re-releases of My Sims and My Sims Kingdom. They're so, so cute! So many of our players have been asking for the return of My Sims. We're thrilled to share that we're reinvigorating the My Sims product line, beginning with two lovable games available soon on Nintendo Switch. With the My Sims, Cozy Bundle, 
We're honoring our Sims legacy as we prepare for our 25th birthday with this charming fan favorite spinoff. You can expect two beloved games, My Sims and My Sims Kingdom, in which you can explore familiar worlds that are full of puzzles to solve, discover locations, meet lots of characters with big personalities and build, paint, and decorate. Get ready to customize cozy worlds, style your cute Sims, and get reintroduced to everyone's favorite My Sims Kingdom Triceratops, Bababoo. With this retro re-release, you can expect Nintendo Switch controls and touchscreen support, upgraded graphics, as well as much-requested special content from the original PC release returning to My Sims. And look out for adorable My Sims merch coming to ShopTheSims.com also in November 2024. Okay, it's cute, all right? I personally never fully got into My Sims. Okay, don't kill me for that, please. But I will say it's cute. I don't have a Nintendo Switch, which makes me sad. I have a Steam Deck. I mean, if I can download it on Steam Deck and play it on my Steam Deck, I will definitely do it. But I don't have a Switch, and I'm definitely not buying a switch just for this i'm sorry i'm not but you can't tell me this is not cute this is adorable oh my gosh project renee expanding the ways to play in the sims be among the first to see the new world as playtesting continues continuing its development alongside other exciting new projects within the sims franchise project renee is focused on building ways for friends to meet connect and share while playing together in an all-new world there will be a small invite only playtest for renee this fall 2024 giving an early look at a multiplayer experience that explores joining friends and other players at a shared location. Sign up for the chance to play test in The Sims Labs here and be among the first to play in the new world. We'll continue to share more information on the game's development and milestones along the way. All right, so Project Renee still has that multiplayer aspect. And honestly, just as I expected, I think it's just going to be fully multiplayer. I think it's a multiplayer based game, honestly. So I don't think it's The Sims 5. I really do think it's The Sims Online, like 2026 or whatever year it decides to come out. Like The Sims Online is probably what it's going to be called. Maybe not, but playtesting this year again for this game. I just hope stuff doesn't leak again because the last time they had playtest, they had to put that bitch on lockdown because because people were posting videos, pictures, that stuff was literally everywhere. All right, so up next is The Sims 4. What's gonna be happening with TS4? The Sims 4, testing new features as we invest in improvements and modernization efforts. We've been expanding all the ways to play with life in The Sims 4 for 10 years, creating an expansive simulation experience. We have big plans to continue building upon and improving this powerful life simulation game played around the world by more than 80 million people. 80 million people is absolutely bananas. But I mean, we know The Sims is successful. The Sims 4 in particular is successful. I don't know how it's this successful, but it is. So they're going to keep milking it for as long as they can. Honestly, from a marketing standpoint, I don't blame them. But there we go. We got our acknowledgement of our 10 year anniversary, guys. The Sims 4 for 10 years. There it is. They finally mentioned it. In May 2024, we announced that we've assembled a team to invest in the core game experience, including tackling technical issues. We've invested further into these efforts to focus on previously reported issues, quality assurance, and game optimization for future releases. Batches of fixes will continue to be released roughly every two months until further notice. On September 18th, 2024, our players can expect another major release of fixes alongside an exciting base game update. Okay, there's our confirmation. Our free patch update with another huge set of fixes is coming tomorrow. Thank God it's not today, girl. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> So it was good to put this article out today and have the patch tomorrow. I'm honestly surprised they didn't put this article out yesterday on Monday and then have the patch come today on Tuesday since they usually roll out patches on Tuesdays. But hey, I'm happy with it. We're getting another batch. Also, they mention every two months until further notice. So when is further notice? When is that? When are they going to announce we're done fixing the game? Good luck. I hope it's not for a long ass time because honestly, in my opinion, there's a lot that needs to be fixed. And with every new patch, Pack, there's going to be a lot that will continue to need to be fixed. Like that's not going to stop anytime soon, you know? We also just have to make sure that these games stop releasing broken. Like it's one thing to put out patches after a pack and fix it, but they need to be properly and thoroughly testing these new packs with all the other packs installed. If they're just testing the base game and the new pack, you're going to run into issues. Yes, but you're not going to run into every
every single possible issue or possible combination of every issue. They need to be testing this with everything and making sure that these games and these packs are just more polished and rounded before they come out to prevent the kind of issues that we've been seeing lately. For example, having two, three, and sometimes four emergency hotfix updates after the release of an expansion pack. The Sims 4 developers are hard at work investing in meaningful new features and base game updates. We continue to explore new ways to play, to surprise and delight, to evolve the game in both appearance and gameplay experience. The Happy at Home event was our first foray into a new way to play, and we were encouraged to see how many of you enjoyed this new feature. We recently announced that coming up next is the Reaper's Rewards event, where you'll have the chance to play alongside Grimm himself and earn exclusive new rewards on September 24th. So, a new event is coming. We knew about this, but confirmation again here. It's the Reaper's Rewards event, which is going to work in conjunction with the upcoming expansion pack. Obviously. Kind of interested to see what that's about, even though I will say I'm not a fan of the limited time events. Not everyone can log in and claim the rewards. Some people have work, they have school, vacations, obligations. I can understand the frustration. So, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but interested to see what they bring with this new event. We're excited about the road ahead for The Sims 4 and can't wait to share what we have planned next for this game. The Sims Free Play, a new region inspired by mountainside towns, is coming soon. For more than a decade, The Sims Free Play has captured the delightful unpredictability and playfulness of The Sims on mobile platforms. We remain as committed as ever to elevating our game to be an unrivaled town builder experience, continuously improving the experience with new content, gameplay, and visual improvements. Our next content updates will open an entirely new region inspired by mountainside towns. It may be the coziest region created for the game yet, perfect for exploring as we head into the holiday season. Here's to celebrating the best of The Sims, past, present, and future. Vadish Simmers. Meh, not a fan of Sims for you play, so I really don't have anything to say on that. Sorry. Thank you for continuing to be a part of our journey. The countdown to our 25th birthday is officially on. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy the many new ways to experience The Sims as they roll out alongside our classic Sims experiences. To stay informed on these efforts, please join us in our Discord community server and stay tuned to our channels. Newsroom at thesims.com slash news and episodes of Behind the Sims, where we'll be regularly sharing updates. Dog Doc, The Sims team. Okay, so what are we thinking, guys? New event, more on, you know, the bug fixing QA team situation, the anniversary. You know, this is the first time we've heard about Project Renee in a while. It's been like, what, a year or more than a year now at this point? since we've learned anything new about the game. Maybe it hasn't quite been that long, but it at least feels like it's been that long. Why am I so blurry? Again, these are just early screenshots, so don't judge them too harshly, but I'm just so interested to see what this game turns out to be. We have our The Sims Labs and playtesting. If you haven't already signed up, I definitely recommend that you do so. The Creator Program, having CC packs as actual kits. I mean, it's good for those of you that play on console, so it gives you the opportunity to have some of this stuff. But if you like downloading it for free, I guess it does take away from that. So, you know, there's going to be pros and cons to a lot of this stuff. Of course, we have The Sims Movie, MGM Studios, Amazon. That's going to be it for this news blog post. Share all of your thoughts below, of course. I want to thank you guys so much for clicking and watching. If you found this video entertaining or informative, both, or just want to support the channel, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Take Take care and happy life simming. Bye guys.